Welcome to the Space Center here in Houston, Texas. Let's go. One of the top attractions to do while visiting Houston is come to the Houston Space Center, only 30 minutes from the downtown. So part of the city passes includes the Houston Space Center. Just so you guys know, in case you want to know what the cost is for these, you save 47% when you get them, and they include some of the must-see attractions here in Houston. The regular price, if you were to pay for to go into everything, is about 116, and with these, it's only 62 dollars. So you're saving quite a bit by getting them, and you have nine days to use them up. Sorry, we are so excited to be here. Um, Angelique watches YouTube videos all the time and she's constantly showing me this is how the astronauts use the bathroom, this is how the astronauts wash their hair, this is how the astronauts do this, do that. So now we get to see it live and we're so excited. Yeah, they even have a whole Mars exhibition with all the future plans for Mars and they have a rock from Mars that you can touch. Mission Control. We're going to take the tram tour. Yes, so the tram tour on normal days I think goes quite a bit, but today it wasn't open until 1.45, so we're only going through now. Okay, so it's either Mission Control where you see where they um, did the missions for Apollo 13 or 11. 11, or you can go to um, the Astronaut Training Center where you actually see how they train. Do you see them training? I guess we'll find out. But we're only going to go to the Mission Control. This is Mission Control Room, and all these seats are for special VIPs such as news broadcasters, family members, and NASA staff. When they don't use it for missions, they use it as a simulation for the people who are learning to become new people for Mission Control. So this is like the biggest rocket ever. Yes, it's so big. Mighty and massive, the Saturn V rocket is the tallest heaviest and most powerful rocket ever flown. NASA used the Saturn V rockets primarily during the Apollo program to send the Americans to the moon. So these are the first guys that went on the moon. It's hard to comprehend that something this big can actually go up into space and do all the missions they've done. It's pretty mind-boggling when you see it. Especially that you can think that they were able to communicate with Earth back in the 70s, like late 60s, that's also mind-boggling and get somebody to land on the moon. I can't believe it. Also, you might want to start your day with the NASA tram tour since it gets quite busy and filled up. Angelique has done this at different space centers where you put money in and it gives you a coin that's flattened. Okay, so now we're going to go see another show. So far it's quite entertaining, especially when they have all these shows to come and watch. Girls, what are we doing? There's supposed to be like an astronaut who speaks.
You can go inside of this. Oh my goodness. If there's an airport right nearby, I think they stole this plane and just buy it. Must have been Looks easy. like an airplane. We're boarding an airplane, but we're not flying this time. No, we are. We're going to fly to outer space. That was really cool. Inside they have all these interactive um, games and screens and the girls each did tests and it shows what career paths would fit them best here within NASA. That was really fun. So right behind me is what's going to be sent out to go to Mars and they're estimating it ready for 2030 to 2045. Angelique all day long has been telling me this is where I'm going to go and this is the ship I'm going in and da da da. So like, ah. but um, pretty cool. So guys, when you come here, um, count. I mean, if you go fast through it, maybe like four or five hours, but you can easily count and spend a day. What was your thoughts on it, girls? Really cool. Yeah, really cool. Really fun? Really cool. Yeah. Did it inspire you? Do you want to go now even more than before? Yeah. So for those of you guys who want to shop, there's tons of souvenirs and uh, all this space stuff. So you can choose t-shirts and bags and everything you think of. Thanks for watching our tour of Houston Space Center. Please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. And comment down below where you're watching from. We'll see you next time.